Jesus from the incarnation. So watch, watch, watch. Pride and the cross are opposites. Pride and the cross are opposites. You can't be proud and claim that you are bringing the message of the cross. They are opposites. The founder of the message humbled himself and came into the womb of the person he created. That's how humble he was. That's why the moment you say, I have a house, I have a car, I have some good money to start ministry, is an offense to the cross. Is enmity to the cross. It's enmity to cross. Your glory in should not be in things. Your glory in should be in the cross. Ah, I have some money, you know. I have money to rent the best building, put in the best things and create a beautiful, you know, um, beautiful arena for, for people to gather. There's nothing wrong in living in beautiful churches. We have a beautiful one after all. But that is not at the fore of this message. That doesn't define the message. We can as well gather by the riverside. And still have church oh yes we can gather under the tree and still have a powerful Bible study these are not the things that define the message the message is self-defined it doesn't rely it's like the pastor said to me I want to go and start a church man of God I've got money I've paid for a hall I've bought equipment I've bought everything I just came to you so you can advise me before I start being a young minister and I said to him oh praise God that's good but let me ask you what message do you have what what message are you going to preach he said message message I said yes message he said I'll just preach what everybody's preaching it's not difficult what a, what everybody is preaching I'm a smart guy huh. Huh. I said you are not called you are not called you don't have a message you are not called neither are you sent huh. you don't have a message have you ever seen a messenger who arrived at a place and they say what message did they give you say I don't even know is that a messenger what defines a messenger Exactly. So if you don't have a message, you don't have a ministry. It's not hall and equipment first. It's message first. It's message first. That's why Apollos could close down his church and go and sit another Aquila and Priscilla because you don't have a message. What are you going to preach? And they agribos the guy. They gave him the finest details and then he came back to the Jews and mightily convinced them that Jesus was right. That is ministry. He was no more mighty in scriptures. Mighty in scriptures. Knowing only the baptism of John. And John doesn't have a book. So I wonder what the man really knows. When they took him and gave him the finest details of Bible teaching. Akiribos, the Greek word. When he left them after being tutored, he came into the camp of the most sophisticated people, Jews, and mightily convinced them. That was when his ministry really started. That Jesus was a Christ. Please, it's very important because all of you here are ministers of the gospel. Everybody following me online, everybody listening to the campus. This ministry is a minister's ministry.